Hey students, it's me again. I'm here to talk to you about putting together your toothpicks. So you've gotten your toothpicks, you have spent time hopefully gluing together 30 of your shapes, and now what? Now what are you gonna do? Oh my goodness, I don't know. But let me give you some ideas. Let's move forward. You just start playing around with them just like you did with your toothpicks. I know that I can stack my toothpicks, my uh, shapes together. Um, I think <clears throat> instead of it just being glued flat together like so, I want it to be more dimensional. I want it to have more depth rather than just be flat. So I'm going to be using a prop to kind of glue it up and the prop that I have is really pretty challenging to conceptualize. It is a wadded up ball of paper that's taped with masking tape. And if you don't have any masking tape and you need masking tape, and even if you need paper, let me know. You can do a quick pickup. I have a roll of masking tape. I can give you a handful of paper as well. So if you need some props, let me know. But I started playing with my shapes <clears throat> And I liked these corners that started to happen, and I thought, whoa, what would happen if I put five of them together, or six of them together? <clears throat> could I make a star? And the answer is yes. Yes, I could make a star. Isn't that satisfying? Look at that beautiful star. Mm. But there's a gap in between them, so how do I get them to stay? I don't know, I could overlap them. It's just not as visually appealing to me. Kenny, you will contact the office, please. Kenny, you will contact the office. So, I need to figure out a way to put them together. So I'm just turning them and looking at them and deciding what is going to be the most visually appealing. So. <clears throat> to glue them together and to let them hold their shape, I am going to have to use that prop that I spoke about earlier, a lot of paper with tape on it, to lift it up so it gives it dimension. And then once I've done that, then I'm probably going to make more units. So this is a unit, but when I glue four of them together, that becomes a unit too. And then I can assemble those into a sculpture. So I also wanted to let you know, I have noticed <clears throat> a lot of you young people have been using the same shape. So if you are one of the several people who have put together this shape, maybe you should reconsider your shape. Go to the Padlet from week seven and look at what other students have been doing. See if you can maybe do better. But currently I think there's four or five people who have chosen this as their shape. I know that you won't come up with the same thing, but let's try to be more creative. See what you can come up with. Push yourselves just a little bit. So, if you have not created your 30 shapes, get on it. Get your 30 shapes done. Um, because November 6th is going to be the deadline for the overall finished shape. Okay, so I'm going to be working on putting my 30 shapes together. What if you make more than 30 shapes? Awesome! Do that! 
but just a reminder, if your shape has less than six toothpicks in the design, then you're not shooting for an A. You're not challenging yourself enough. If you would like to challenge yourself, remember, shoot for six or more toothpicks in your design. If you have chosen to do an asterisk shape with your toothpicks, perhaps maybe you should reconsider your design. If you don't have 30 shapes yet, do that as soon as possible. Make sure you have a minimum of 30 of your shapes. And then start looking at how your shapes can fit together. Are you going to fit them together in a regular geometric pattern, or are you gonna let them kind of do what they want to do? These are things that you're gonna have to creatively look at your piece and solve on your own time. If you feel like you need more instruction, more guidance, I invite you to set up a Zoom with me and we can talk through what it is that you're doing. Or if you are a hybrid student and come to school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, and you wanna set up a time to meet with me, do that. Reach out to me, talk to me.